Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using data bars in Excel to compare pretest and post-test scores. So I have here in this Excel worksheet fictitious data. I have scores for a pretest and for a post-test. And I also have recorded the difference between the post-test and pretest scores and I've used conditional formatting to apply an icon set to indicate the direction of the difference. And I have another video that covers how to use icon sets. But in this video I want to talk about using conditional formatting to display data bars. So we have these two variables, pretest and post-test. So let's start with post-test. If we go into conditional formatting, and we go to data bars and we select one of the styles available here and you can see there's a gradient fill style and a solid fill style. I'm going to use a gradient fill in red for post-test and then for the pretest values I'm going to do the same thing and select green. So at first this appears to be a good way to arrange the data bars. You can compare the data bars from pretest to post-test. But the problem with this method is that the data bars are arranged relative to the values in the selection used for the conditional formatting. So right now, for example, you can see the value 62 with the data bar, it's clear that that's higher than the value of 48. But if I were to go in and modify this value in the post-test, which is 76, and change it to something much lower, let's say 25. Now the new high value for this particular range is 61. And it's clear to see this value of 61 is greater than 48 by looking at the data bars. But if we move down here, it's not clear that the value of 62 is greater than 48 just looking at the data bars. So how can we repair this so that no matter what the values are in these cells, we can use the data bars to compare from the pretest variable over to the post-test variable. So first I'm going to select the entire range, all the pretest and post-test values, and go back to conditional formatting and manage rules. And I'm going to delete these two rules and click apply. And I could create a new rule directly from here and use the data bars. But I'm going to cancel this and go back to conditional formatting in the home ribbon here and select data bars. And I'm going to go this time with blue. And I'm going to apply it to all the pretest values and all the post test values. So again, I'll move down here to where I put the 25 in. I'm going to return this to 76. And you can see that it had no impact on the other data bars. All of these values are included in the same conditional formatting rule. So if we move up here to where we have post test value 61, and I make that say a 15, again, none of the other values are affected. So we can use this to compare the values from the pretest to the post-test. So this is the correct way to format the data bars when you want to compare a pretest and post-test. There are a few other features of data bars that I find useful. If you go into conditional formatting, go to manage rules, and notice I moved over to cell E2. So now it's not going to come up. So if I close this and move to one of the cells that has the conditional formatting, it will show up. But if I move back over to a cell not included, I can still get the rule to show up under Manage Rules by changing current selection to this worksheet. And of course, it's going to give me the icon set rule as available option to select as well. But I want to edit the data bar rule, so I'm going to select data bar and edit rule. 
And you can see there are a wide variety of options here for configuring the data bars, including the type. You can see for minimum and maximum, the default is automatic, but you also have lowest value, number, percent, formula, and percentile available for both the minimum and the maximum. You can also change the border, and you can see by default it selects solid border. Of course, the other option is no border. But if we go to solid border, we can change the color. Let's say we change it to orange and take a look at that. I have to click apply here. We can see it puts an orange border around each of the blue data bars. If you're using this worksheet for a presentation, you may not want the numbers to appear, the values to appear in the cells. You may just want the data bars. So we go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, and now I've selected a cell in the conditional formatting range. So it's going to show up here without having to change current selection to anything else. Click data bar, edit rule, and there's a checkbox here, show bar only. Check that, click OK, and then apply. And the values disappear, but the corresponding data bars are still displayed. I hope you found this video on using data bars to compare pretest and post-test values to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.